To a show of solidarity and cooperation in the middle of a war. A U.S. astronaut is now back on Earth after hitching a ride with the Russians back from the International Space Station. Gio Benitez reports. After a record 355 days in space, 5,680 orbits, more than 150 million miles, American astronaut Mark Vandehei is finally back on Earth tonight. Touchdown. Mark van der Heij and Piotr Dubrov back home one year after leaving the planet. Touching down in Kazakhstan this morning after leaving the space station overnight on Russia's Soyuz spaceship with Russian cosmonauts. The Soyuz MS-19 begins the journey home to complete a year-long odyssey for Mark van der Heij. Even as tensions rise here between America and Russia over the war in Ukraine, the crew shared a hug. One of the Russian cosmonauts saying this. People uh, have problem on Earth, on orbit. We are one crew. For weeks, the head of the Russian space agency, Dmitry Rogozin, had threatened to leave Van Hai on the space station in response to American sanctions on Russia, posting this spoof video showing the Russian cosmonauts waving goodbye to Van Hai. Another video showed technicians covering up the U.S. and Japanese flags on a rocket. Former NASA astronaut Scott Kelly took to Twitter, telling Rogozin, without those flags and the foreign exchange they bring in, your space program won't be worth a damn. Rogozin tweeted back, get off, you moron. Otherwise, the death of the International Space Station will be on your conscience. The tweet was later deleted. It's very childish thing to be doing when you're responsible for people's lives in space to be producing videos of leaving people behind and threatening to drop a space station. I think he has more important things to be doing, but he clearly doesn't. Rogozin's words leading some to question the future of Russia's relationship with America in space, one long seen as peaceful and necessary. This conflict, just one of the many playing out between the U.S. and Russia. From space to the Arctic, where both sides are battling for control as tensions rise. The current U.S.-Russian bilateral relations are at a uh, perhaps a, a low that we haven't seen since the Cuban Missile Crisis. While that future is unclear, former NASA astronaut Katie Coleman is hopeful. We share a mission. All these countries that put the space station together, that built this literally city in space and have done such important work up there, it is not easy. And we don't do these things because we just want to do them. It's because they're part of something so much more important. And tonight, the record holder in space must now get used to a different view. Back on solid ground, he's looking forward to enjoying the little things again. Making a cup of coffee for my wife and myself, and then sitting in bed and talking to each other while we're either reading or catching up on the news. Just having relaxing Saturday mornings is a wonderful thing. And then after that, I'd probably say guacamole and chips. All of that sounds very enjoyable. Our thanks to Gio for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.